Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Benito and this is my second tutorial on MATLAB. So in this tutorial I'll show you how to define um, certain types of matrices, um, how to uh, write the commands um, that you output in the command window and the results in the command window into a text file and finally I'll show you how to load a matrix from a text file into MATLAB. So let's get started by opening up MATLAB. And in the previous tutorial, I showed you that we define a simple two by two matrix by using the square brackets and then typing one, two, semicolon, one and two. So the semicolon uh, tells MATLAB it's a new row. So if we do that, then we can see that um, it's a two by two matrix. So um, now let's say if you want to create a matrix uh, containing just ones. So all the elements in the matrix should be one. So MATLAB has a nice function called ones. And then if you do open parentheses, and then let's say if you want to create a three by three matrix, then you simply do three comma three, and then close the parentheses, and then enter. So MATLAB creates a three by three matrix, uh, where all the elements are one. Now, similarly, um, let's say if you want to create a matrix containing just zeros. So MATLAB has something called zeros. And then let's try a four by four matrix this time. So if you do four, so the first um, um, element, first um, number in the brackets will be the row and the second will be the columns. So that's how a um, matrix is defined. So I always forget this and I, I came up with a good way to remember it. So um, this is how I remember it. This is kind of stupid, but it's a good way to remember it. So if you think of a matrix as Roman Catholic, so a matrix is Roman Catholic. So, and if you take the first letter of the two words, R and C, so the rows come first and the columns come second. So Roman Catholic RC. There you go, stupid, but simple and effective. So if we do this now, there we go. So four by four and all the elements are zero. Now let's see um, what we can do next with MATLAB. So I'll clear the workspace and clear the command window using clear and the CLC commands. Now let's say if you want to share the results um, in the command window to someone. Um, so you might not want to share your script file um, always so you just might probably just want to share your results or your um, calculations that you carry out in the command window so we can do this by saving into a writing into a text file so what we can do is we can type diary and then write .txt so I want to save this as a .txt file and the name of my file will be right so you can name it whatever you like now so we press enter so you can see MATLAB has created this text file for you so and it's in this MATLAB folder so whatever we type into the command window now should save into the write.txt file so let's create a matrix um, and we'll call it a and it's ones a, and it's a 10 by 10 matrix containing just ones we do enter and MATLAB has created this for us. Now, um, so if you keep typing, uh, you know, let's try Benito, Sebastian, for example, and obviously it just shows you an error because that doesn't mean anything. So everything that you type into the command window will now be saved into the write.txt file. Now, if you want to stop saving what you're writing into the command window, then you have to do diary off. You do the end. You press the enter, and now if we try and open the write.txt file, so you can simply double click here, or I will just show you by going into my documents and then in my MATLAB folder. I have the write.txt file. So if I open this write.txt file, you can see um, everything that I've typed into the um, command window is now saved into a text file so you can see Benito Sebastian undefined function so even that is um, saved and also the diary off so now if you want to resume 
um, then you can do diary on. So we won't resume, we'll just clear the window and we'll clear the workspace as well. So, so, so CLC. Now let's see how we can import a matrix um, from a text file, for example. So what I've done is I've created a simple matrix. So I've opened up a text file and I've created a simple matrix, a three by three matrix containing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I want to import this information into um, MATLAB. So to load this matrix into MATLAB, we can simply type load and then matrix.txt. So, so you can see matrix has now appeared in the workspace. So you can see it's um, imported into MATLAB from the text file and each element is put into um, an individual cell. Another thing that you've probably noticed is the variable name. So if we type matrix now, it actually outputs our matrix from the text file. So whatever the name of the text file is, um, that will be the name, the variable name for the matrix. So this is um, this can be very useful um, when you want to import data from a text file, but you really have to be careful with the format of um, what you've put inside the text file. So let's say if we write some text into the file, Nito Sebastian, and then we save this, and then we try to load matrix.txt. Now you can see um, it's giving me an error. That's because um, MATLAB is not able to detect, not able to read the text in. It has to be in a different format. And I'll show you this in a later, a later video. So this is the end of this video. Um, and in the next video tutorial, I'll show you um, how to define matrices um, and how to carry out calculations with um, matrices. So I hope you found this um, video useful. If you found it useful, then um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for tuning in. See you next time.